detail. The one I did last night from uh, Relaxing Art with Janet. She's amazing if you don't follow her, her on, here on YouTube. But she had, I did hers and she um, added, she adds a lot of detail. A lot of like really loose detail though. So it's really fun. And so I did hers and I got hooked on adding some more detail. And that was really fun. So, huh. I don't know what else, if I would go more moody on here, just leave it kind of subtle. I'll definitely add some burrs once it's dry. I could add some grasses. This could over here could have some, maybe just some like little gravel texture. Maybe this is the land. Maybe it's uh, the sun starting to set. And so there's like a shadow over here and this could be the, the beach or the, you know, out here in the Pacific West, Northwest, we have, we often have you know, pebble beaches or rock beaches, just a lot like Cali Northern California um, coast, which, which I grew up with. Uh, not like, you know, the amazing beaches of Costa Rica or <laughs> Dominican Republic. Not that I got to see the beaches in Costa Rica yet. Still, still in the jungle, but I would like to visit Costa Rica beaches one day. And I would love, love to go back to Dominican Republic's beach. That was so beautiful there. We are doing a retreat to Costa Rica here in next March. So about nine to 10 months. So lots of time to save if um, a watercolor retreat is something that you would, you'd like to partake in. And what's really cool is there are so many watercolor retreats with so many different artists. So if there's an artist you love and you would just love to, you know, paint with them or, you know, even just go on a vacation trip with them. Uh, these are very immersive trips, by the way. So you get a lot of time with people and, you know, there's, there's all sorts of artists hosting them with Uptrek is a really an art based um, travel company and they're kind of high, higher end. So you get to stay in a villa and all the foods cooked for you. It's amazing. I can't wait. I hope one day that Madeline and I can work up to that and explore that option. But for now we're working with a smaller company that doesn't focus as, on artists as much. So it's a little bit of different uh, the way they organize the trips. So we're working through that to, um, <laughs> to make sure that the trips work for us as artists versus content creators or explorers and adventurers. Anyway, I understand I'm just rambling, but that's kind of how my lives go. So if you prefer not to listen to the ramble, you can always mute me or you can always just you know fast forward to the end later on if you just wanted to see where I get to. I'm gonna stand up and look through my camera at my picture and see what I think and what I feel might need to happen. I think, okay, we're going on 20 minutes. Again, I try to keep these right around 30 and under. I've been going over, but I feel like maybe, maybe just some birds and call it, maybe keep it simple. Unless anybody has a very strong, strong feeling, I could entertain that idea. It'd have to be a strong feeling. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more dark color right down in. And often lately I've been mixing up my own blacks, but I did grab for a hematite black that I got in my Masha 24 single palette. And that's this palette. Let me show you real quick. This is a really fun palette. It's this palette. It's in this wooden palette set. These are just dot samples I have right here. Just, I was drying them. So they're in the way. Let me move this out of the way. Anyway, so this is a 24 set in these little ceramic pots. Let me see if I can grab one out for you so you can see they're so cute. There they are. <laughs> they're in these little pots. They're half pans. And there's 12, 12, 24 colors, 12 single pigments, and 12, or all, all single pigments, I'm sorry. 12, 12 granulating colors and 12 non-granulating. Jeez, that was hard to say. <laughs> you think I had some tongue twister going on. I just couldn't get it out. <laughs> Oh, the pressure of life sometimes and painting and talking. So, right, you have all these things going on and you're trying to, you know, make sure you're not messing up your painting and you're making sure you're saying all the right things and P's and Q's are crossed and dotted and T's and, you know, those things. I agree for it and it looks so. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let me dry real quick. I'm going to mute you so you don't have to listen to that and then we'll add some birds.